Testing, hey guys, testing. I just wanted to bring this story to you today. It's about a old friend of mine, not really friend now, because we had a falling out, but it's for another video, but okay, let's get into it. Basically, I met this dude when I arrived just... <coughs> no, it's not COVID. But I met this dude when I arrived roughly, give or take, it was a while, but like, I met him back in like, grades, no, not seven, eight or nine, roughly. And when I met him, he was, okay, I'm just gonna make up a name for him, uh... Reese, yeah, his name will be Reese for the rest of the video, but, okay, Reese, he was a nice guy at first, and, but he, you quickly learned that he was kind of off-putting, plus also, <coughs> he had a, uh, lot of anger issues and everything, like, if you would say anything to him, because, like, my first interaction to him was basically through, like, my other friend that's, like, I'm friends with now still. And he introduced me to him was, like, oh, hey, this is Reese. And my friend basically was, like, trying to be tied and everything, because Reese didn't have a lot of friends. But Reese kind of... Okay... One thing people learn about me is that I really... Oh, I, I have a high tolerance and to just deal with people that are... <coughs> that are, like, really rude and everything. But Reese was very, very hard to try... <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. I'll try and hold it in, but, uh, with Reese, he, uh, he was sort of, like, a genuine, like, angry dude, and he'd always try and pick fights with everyone, because the fact is, is, like, before I came to this school, uh, one of the other kids in the class actually said that he actually fought Reese, uh, let's give him a name, J Jason. Jason apparently fought Reese, and Jason won, but Reese was like, oh, you, you, I would have won that, but you cheated and whatnot. It's basically that type of dude, and he'd always try and antagonize me throughout all the time that I've known him, where he'd always wanted me to try and argue with him or hit him, and it just... It can wear on a person, and I'll get to that, but with him, he always would, like, try and twist things to make it seem like it was your fault, and me, uh, this is a fault of mine, of where me being the kind person that I am, I kind of let things slide too much, more than I should. By the way, if you know this game, it's a way out playing it with my friend. And, um, it's pretty fun. But, anyways, with it, it, uh, it was genuinely kind of weird with him because he, it seemed like he try and make people feel sorry for him, but he also would, like, be mad if people were sorry for him. Like, he kept always saying that he had owed, 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 ADHD and the, like, that disorder where, like, you really have to have everything to detail. And, like, he basically make up all these things of, like, he has these different disorders and everything. Like, the dudes really had an issue. But fast forward a little bit, and throughout, like, the high school and everything of trying to talk, just be there, he... The one time he, like, I know this may sound cheesy and you may ask why I've never done it, but I've never been to, like, 
a party for say other than like a birthday party not like a non-supervised party and whatnot and you may not you may wonder why it's just I never got the chance to because I never was friends with people in that type of crowd I was I I was a nerd I'm still a nerd but like I I'm accepting of it now I'm accepting of it and I don't care what other people have the opinion of it but anyways um this dude he also another thing too is like he try and put himself like the dominant personality of like our it was it was our five men like friend group and he'd always be like well you all are like my I'm the leader of the pack and whatnot and it's like was discussing it recently and like he wasn't he really wasn't considering the fact being is like he me and my other three other friends were always on xbox and everything he this kid always would hassle us of like we we play video games too much and whatnot and you know what regardless of us playing video games too much we enjoy it because we can communicate with each other and just have fun and he'd always be like oh you better work and everything it's like i have old-fashioned values it's like no Sonny, you have daddy issues, is what you have. <laughs> but with it was, um, it just was hilarious to me because of the fact being is like he'd always try and one up everyone. Then came time of where I had this friend, it was a girl, and uh, what should we give her a name? Sam. Sa- Sam started doing this weird relationship thing with. Uh, Tony, I forgot what the make up makeup name was for him, and I'll just make another one. Sam started kind of having feelings for Tony, and it was hard because of the fact is like Tony wasn't treating her well, and I was getting like both points or the one point of view. Tony was being like really a jerk to me because I was friends of her, and it was like I was I was caught in the middle because I was friends with both of them. And I, okay, if you were the type of guy that, like, tries and turns everything where it's a girl's fault, I don't really have a lot of much respect for you, and I, that's what I started finding out from her, and she started getting really stressed about it and everything, and I just told her, like, if you're not enjoying it for yourself... Is it really worth putting your effort into the relationship? And she just kind of thought to herself and was like, yeah, you're right. And the good dude, I'll admit, the dude was sort of scary, but like, he was re- angry, <laughs> per se. And he re- he got mad and tried like screwing up all the friends, my f- friends, which are slash his friends that he thought, relationships but like they didn't really care because of the fact like they knew me better than they really knew him and like they know I was the kind of better person and throughout the entire time it was like grade 12 and whatnot and he was trying to get me to like fight with him and everything and it's like oh we have beef we have beef you screwed of mine and hers relationship we have beef and it's like dude it's entirely one-sided for one and it's just the people that are like him need to realize is that they're not going to get very much anywhere in life. Most of the time, would most likely be in a ten foot or ten by ten jail cell, or sorry, six by six jail cell, which guaranteed he probably is in by now. But and he just like finished everything. But anyways, got the end of the video. And I really hope you guys are having a good day and have a good night and peace.